vaping has been around for many years, but following several recent deaths and hundreds of visits to the ER, health officials are sounding the alarm. There are many questions surrounding vaping, so we sat down with Mount Sinai pediatrician Dr. Karen Wilson to get answers. Dr. Wilson's research focuses on secondhand tobacco smoke exposure and how it affects children. What do we know about the health effects of vaping? When you think about what these um, vape pens or electronic cigarettes are, um, they're a liquid and a battery. And the battery heats up the liquid and creates an aerosol, and that aerosol can have toxic chemicals in it. And it also has particulates, which are things, uh, little tiny particles that go into the lungs. And we know that particles in other cases can cause disease, they can cause asthma, they can cause other types of lung ear irritation. And there's no reason to suspect that electronic cigarettes would be any different. What we've started to see is um, more studies that are coming out showing that it affects the ability of the blood vessels in the lungs to work well. In other studies, they've shown that it impacts immune functions and the immune cells in the lungs um, and causes them to not work quite as well. Um, and in other studies, even secondhand uh, aerosol has been associated with increase in asthma symptoms among children who have asthma. Vaping has been around for a decade, so why so much attention to it right now? The products have become much more highly technical um, and the marketing has become more slick. And so you have a product like Juul, which um, came out in 2017 and uh, came out with a very, very, um, with a marketing campaign um, that was very appealing to young people um, with a lot of flavors and uh, a device that looks like a little flash drive. The other piece of it is that uh, the newer technology is allowing for much higher delivery of nicotine. I'm hearing many reports of adolescents who are using Juul because their friends are doing it and because it has a good flavor, who are now addicted and they can't get off. And this was not something that we were hearing a lot of in the prior generations of electronic cigarettes. What is your recommendation to people watching this right now who might be interested in vaping? I would say do not start. And certainly uh, you want to stop if you are using electronic cigarettes of any type, um, you know, you, they are not safe. Um, we don't know what's causing this, and uh, particularly for, for adolescents and young adults, um, you know, please do not start and please stop if you are doing this now. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank you. A special thanks to Dr. Karen Wilson, and thank you for watching Mount Sinai Spotlight.